Yes, we aren't 10 years old. We know how to get ourselves ready. Let's take the car. No, you heard dad. He said no. We're twins, remember? We share everything. Elliot Mason, clearance level two. MSF, Mason spy family. Elena, our parents are spies. In the trunk of the car, you'll find all the gear you need to complete this mission. Not you two again. Get out of here. Men, after them. Sure, you have everything you need for school, Elliot? Yes, Mom. I packed my backpack last night. I have everything. And you, Elena? Yes, we aren't 10 years old. We know how to get ourselves ready for school. We don't need your help anymore. Be kind to your mother, Elena. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Mom. Don't worry about it, honey. Let's just get a move on. The bus will be here any minute. Can't Dad drive us? Your mother and I have an important work meeting this morning. So you're taking the bus today? Just skip it! <laughs> skip work just so that you don't have to ride the bus to school? Yeah, I don't think so. Then let me take the car. Not on a learner's permit, you won't. Honey, we better get going. Our ride is going to be here any minute. Elliot, Elena, don't miss the bus. And Elliot? Yes? Do not take my car. Fine. I mean it. I hear you. He's not going to drive the car, Dad. A ride's here. Let's get going. Have a good day, kids. Elliot, I will know if you drive that car. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, guys. Be good. Let's take the car. No, you heard Dad. He said no. Since when has that stopped us before? We're supposed to listen to our parents. What they don't know won't hurt them. But Dad said he'd know if you took the car. Look, we'll be really careful. We'll park it exactly how we had it in the garage. It'll be like it never left. Neither of us have even driven Dad's car. We've only taken Mom's. Mom's is in the shop. We don't have that choice. Come on, let's just drive the car to school, and then we'll drive it straight home after class. It'll be perfectly okay. All right, but I'm not taking the fall for this when we get in trouble. That's on you. We're twins, remember? We share everything. Dad has a nice car. He does. This is really neat. It looks just like Mom's car. Driving this will be a breeze. I'm glad you feel that way. Maybe that means we'll make it to school safely. Hey, I'm already doing better than you in driver's ed. We'll see. How do you think you start this thing? Turn the key? There is no key. Maybe it's a push to start, like one of those fancy cars. Oh, here's a button. I'll try pressing that. Whoa. Please state your name. What was that? What was that is incorrect. Please state your name. Elliot Mason. Elliot Mason, clearance level two. What is this? I have no idea what's happening. Individual two, please state your name. Elena Mason. Elena Mason, clearance level two. What are we supposed to do? How does this thing drive? Voice activation is engaged. Drive. Elliot, what did you do? I don't know. It's doing it on its own. Make it stop. I can't. The brakes aren't working. Ask it to stop. Car, please stop. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be in here another minute. Why? I think it's pretty cool. It seems incredibly dangerous. We don't know how safe that thing is. If Dad drives it, it has to be pretty safe. I'm getting out. Then you'll have to walk. We missed the bus ages ago. Ugh, fine, but you are absolutely taking the blame. I'm not sharing it with you. Whatever. Now, how does this thing work? I don't know. Car, how do you work? Hello, Elliot and Elena. Welcome to CAR, Certified Automobile Rescue. Getaway car for the MSF. Define MSF. MSF, Mason Spy Family. What? MSF, Mason Spy Family. A family of spies dating back 15 generations with the intent to protect our world and the family at all costs. Is Dad a spy? Do you think Mom knows? Who owns this car? Douglas Mason, director of the MSF, and Juliet Mason, head of robotics and technology for the MSF. I think mom knows. This is so cool. Cool? Elena, 
Our parents are spies! I think it's scary! There's nothing scary about this. Why have our parents been keeping this from us? I don't know, but... Incoming transmission, proceed. Proceed. Elliot, Elena, we know you have the car. This is your father. There's no time to explain. We need your help. Grandpa Ben has been kidnapped. Grandpa Nat. And we need your help to save him. Our help? In the trunk of the car, you'll find all the gear you need to complete this mission. Meet us at the garage behind the grocery store on 5th. The car will take you there. And transmission. Not Grandpa Ben! That means Grandpa Ben is a spy too! Elena, I think everyone in our family is a spy. Not on Tess. There's no way she's a spy. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Thanks for making me laugh. Heck, I bet our dog is a spy too. We need to get going! Car, drive! I don't even know if I was joking. What's going on? We're glad you two are safe. When we found out you didn't arrive at school this morning, we, we were so worried you might have been kidnapped too. We weren't kidnapped. We were too busy finding out our parents are spies. What gives? Why didn't you tell us? It's a long story, honey. We had to wait until you were old enough to train in the family business before we told you. The family business? I thought our family business was selling health insurance. Does that mean we're old enough to train? Not quite. You need to be 18, but... We're breaking the rules this one time. Your grandpa needs us. He needs all of us. We'll be with you every step of the way, so there's no way for you to get hurt. That's not entirely true. This will be incredibly dangerous, so we'll need you both to listen very carefully and follow our orders directly. Can you do that? Of course! For sure! Good. You have all your gear from the trunk? Got it all right here. Perfect. First of all, we need to figure out what we're up against. We need one of you to go undercover. Me. That's my girl. You're going to go in through the service door of the grocery store. We believe your grandpa is being held against his will in the back freezer. You'll go into the back, like you're working for one of the semi-truck delivery companies. And you're there to make a delivery. Get inside and take a look around. How many people are in there? Can you see grandpa? Where are the exits? When you have all that information, get out of there. I can do this. I can't believe I'm saying this, but be careful, sis. Thanks, bro. We'd go in, but they know what we look like. Our cover was blown, so it's up to you two. Don't engage the hostiles in this building. You're there for information only. You aren't trained to fight. You don't know hand-to-hand -hand combat. You don't have weapons. Do not fight them. Understood? Understood. Ready, Elena? Ready! State your business. Grocery delivery. Where's your truck? Uh, in the back. We're in the back. Further back. What's your delivery? Ice cream. The freezer system on my truck broke down. I need to get this unloaded quickly. Can you take a look? I can't leave, but my men can. Yo, head back to take a look at this truck. You have a lot of room back here. A lot of room for activities. Yeah, sure. I hadn't thought about it that way. Do you have any other rooms back here? A manager's office. What's it to you? No reason. Just making conversation. Do you make deliveries here often? No. What's it to you? Just making conversation. Hello! Help! What was that? Mice. Mice? Yes. Speaking words? We can't find a truck. Oh, I made it out! Brilliant work, honey. What did you learn? We have Grandpa Ben. We need to get in there! Slow down, slow down. It's not that simple. We saw the men leaving. We need a plan if we're going to fight them. That was smart thinking, getting them to leave so that we could size them up. You're already impressing us, Elena. What else did you learn? He's locked in the manager's closet just inside the back door. He can still talk, so he isn't gagged. The sounds he made moving around make me think he is tight. Great detective skills. Okay, team. Here's our plan. Mom and I are gonna go through the back door. The lead guy, Ricky. That's the one you talk to, Elena. He'll recognize us. He'll send his men after us, leaving Grandpa Ben unwatched. 
That's where you'll come in, Elliot. You're going to follow in after us and open the window in the manager's room when no one is looking. Elena will enter in through the window. You'll both untie Grandpa Ben and escape. Okay, but what about you guys? Don't worry about us. But you'll be fighting that Ricky- It's imperative that you focus on breaking Grandpa Ben out. Do you understand? I understand. Got it. Now's the time. We can't wait for another moment. Ready, honey? You know it. Not you two again! Get out of here! Men! After them! Elliot! Man, am I glad to see you! How are you here? I'll explain later! Where's the window? Opposite corner! Elena! You too? Hi, Grandpa Ben. Good to see you safe. I'll be even better when you get me out of these ropes. Great work, you two. Now let's get out of here. Do you have a car? Do I? You have your father's car. Need, huh? He was mad we took it originally. But now I think he's pretty glad it happened. Good old Jensen. Welcome, Grandpa Ben. Take us home, old friend. Route to home. So, Grandpa, you're a spy? I am. So is your mother, your father, all of your aunts and uncles, the vast majority of your cousins, and all of my deceased relatives for the last 15 generations. That's incredible! I don't even know what questions to ask! It's time for the two of you to become spies as well. Dad says we aren't old enough. We need to be 18. 16 is pretty close. That's what I thought. He led us on this mission. That has to mean something. You two acted with sincere bravery today. He can't deny that you were both an asset to the team. Perhaps he can find it in his heart to bend the rules in a more permanent fashion. How did our family become spies? Way back in the era of kings and queens. Your great-great-great-great-grandmother was recruited by the second-in-command to lead a secret group of elite, highly trained men and women. They fought for the kingdom, carrying out the royals' missions with discrepancy and honor. Much like the royals, we kept things in the family. It was passed down from them to us. And now it's our turn. Correct. I can't believe that I woke up this morning as a regular 16-year-old late for school because of her annoying twin brother, and now... We're ending the day as spies. That's insane! It's literally the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. We'll be honored to have you join our ranks. I almost forget! Where are Mom and Dad? Jensen, locate Douglas and Juliet. Location locked. Send a beacon. Beacon sent. Anything? Incoming transmission. Proceed. Proceed. We are safe. Meet us at the house. You don't have to tell me twice. Mom! I'm so glad you two are safe. We're glad you're safe too. Dad, you made it. Of course I did. I would have been able to get out of that mess myself if it weren't for the fact that they stripped me of all my weapons and tied me to- I know, you could have made it out on your own anyways, but- how great was it to have Elena and Elliot? It was incredible! They were quite the team. After we were chased out of the store by those furly men and the not-so-burly Ricky, we managed to disarm them all. Your mother was fantastic! Her left hook is stronger than a lot of the men I know. Your father wasn't so bad himself. The way he pinned Ricky to the ground was like something out of a movie. So now what? Well, we stole Ricky's phone. Your father, your grandfather, and I will break its encryptions and determine where the headpin is located. I thought Ricky was in charge of it all. Not a chance. He was a right-hand man for sure, but he didn't have enough brains to make those kinds of decisions. They're right. We need to figure out who's behind all of this. Behind all of what? My abduction was only a small part of a series of abductions of members of our family. The Mason spy family is under direct attack, and it's coming from someone that knows an intimate amount of information. 
We think there's a mole somewhere in our ranks. It's our mission to find out who that is. We want to help! Does that mean we can be official spies now? I'm not sure. The rule's 18, or not at all. You're the director, aren't you? How'd you know that? Jensen. Of course. So you can change the rule. The rule is in place for your own safety. Come on, Juliet, live a little. If you had the chance to join when you were 16, you would have done it in a heartbeat. I'll change the rule, but only on one condition. Anything. We'll do it, whatever it is. You need to finish high school, and I get to train you. Yes. Sounds like a deal to me. Welcome to the team, you two. This is going to be quite the adventure. Boom, <laughs> boom,